Um, and then you have this other part where he could have actually gotten out. It was it wasn't just Comey. It was Comey and what is it, Warner? I think it was Warner. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. It, essentially, hey, we can tell you definitively what happened. We can let you know what happened. And he's like, yeah, no, no, that's not convenient. That's We'd not convenient. rather not. You know. We don't want to yeah. know that. We don't want to know that. We're perfectly okay with what we believe Russia did it. Just nothing to see here, folks. Yeah. I, I, it's amazing. That part's amazing. That part blew me away, too. I mean, look, I don't either. You want to know what took place or you don't. And I think newspapers need to be very careful with this idea of allowing WikiLeaks to be considered, what is it, a non-state actor or, or in a non-state editor or something to that effect. I believe Those it was Mike Pompeo called them an, a hostile non-state intelligence service. And in yeah. the same breath, in the same breath, he then compared WikiLeaks with Al-Qaeda. Literally. It's That's just amazing. Mind-blowing. New York Times. And the wild part about this is when they get leaks, it's perfectly okay. So I, I gave a perfect example. The recent leak that came out saying um, that North Korea had no intention of giving away or, or giving them nuclear weapons. That was a leak. That was a leak. That was a leak by the intelligence services. Nobody cared. Nobody took issue with that in the least. It was a leak, and everybody was fine with that particular leak. It seems that they're they pick and choose the leaks that they're okay with. That's what it seems like. That's that's exactly what it seems like. And I can yeah. Uh, you had inconvenient leaks. 